to this Perceptive Readers Podcast. Hi, I'm James Lynch. The Sage in Apples and Oranges It is not just a title, it is very much more than a description, and yet for some it will be considered neither and yet both. So you can probably say it is a titled description. Well, what does the Product of Culture website mean by it when you see it in the poetry and other writings? As mentioned many years ago, or several years ago, depending on when you first heard the Perceptive Readers podcast, I mentioned that it actually pays homage to all the ones, you see, who have some type of knowledge on a level that, yes, go beyond the surface even to the mastery level. And yet, one thing you will find about persons who have that sage-like wisdom, you most likely will not hear them even mention that they know everything, even though the reality is they know a lot. And so this homage, again, is to not just one person, not the sage, But there are many A-sages, if you will, around the globe. Now, how do you know? What do we mean about being a sage, going beyond just surface knowledge and actually having the wisdom that goes into the mastery level? Well, this is just one example, one quick example that I hope you will hold dear to your heart. You see, remember we talked about in the beginning, there are titles in certain occupations. And even when persons have the title, it sometimes means, yes, they know what to do. But what is the difference between just doing what was shown in a textbook or years of learning, which no one is putting down, and actually sometimes getting to the root of the matter? That is where the sage-like wisdom often comes in. Here is one example. You're in a school, you walk into the cafeteria, and you hear two children, they're fighting, and all the children around them are just, you know, egging them on. You go for this, go for that. Or they're rooting for one person, or maybe they're rooting for both of them. All the same. They're in a big scuffle. Yeah, I mean, a terrible scuffle. So you run over there and you break the both of them up and immediately you give them both detentions for, again, uh, which is the normal textbook route saying you will be in detention for a week. So persons will look at it. Well, he broke up the fight or she broke up the fight and it was solved. And the students were punished. Does that sound fair? Does that sound reasonable? To many persons, it does. Yet, you can have another person, same role, but yet also has the descriptive, the title descriptive, if you will, in in many people's mind, that is a sage like wisdom. So when the sage-like wisdom comes in, the sage-like wisdom might immediately break up the fight, but then actually go through the process of taking the two, whether they're talking with them separately or together, and saying, what happened here? And you will find out, or the sage will find out, How did the fight really start? You see, sometimes persons say, I don't care how it started. However, the sage like wisdom says, yes, I need to know how it started. And here's why. In the process of using questions and answers and empathy at that, they found out that one of the child or children 
were actually being bullied by this bully for a better part of a whole year, taking their lunch money every single day. And then if the child was able to eat, the bully would realize, oops, I forgot to take their lunch money for the day. The child in his or her silence, and yes, even fear at times, just never told anyone because when the child did speak up, no one listened. So one day, the child, when the money or the lunch that the child actually had on the tray was being taken from him or her. See, this is just a parable here. But do you sense the truthness in it? Well, back to the lunchroom again, that when the bully went over to take the child's food and the child was just starving that day, this time the child spoke up. Some people will say the child snapped and said, give me my food back. And when the bully picked up the child's cookie and was about to go bite into it, that's when the little child just lunged forth and started fighting the bully. So, let me ask you, who started the fight? Who instigated the fight? In this case, is there just a cold application of textbook knowledge of saying they're both wrong? Or were there extenuating circumstances? Were there mitigating circumstances as to why the child reacted in this way? Now, let me ask you this. After finding out all this knowledge, how would you meet out the discipline? Would the bully and also the bully's victim both get the same sentence? The sage knows the answer to this. The sage knows one needs to be very much tempered with the application of textbook knowledge. And also, yes, deeply mastery knowledge of spiritual matters as well. The sage, it pays homage to all who have mastered skills, not in pro only professional, but yes, not only academically, but yes, goes deeper and deeper into even the spiritual matters of getting the sense of what is happening and applying it to the benefit of all and the individual. You have just listened to the Perceptive Readers Podcast. Remember, until next time, if you read something that encourages you to improve or enhance your life for the better, it becomes your reality. <laughs>